Let's go grocery shopping today. Let's find out how much we are going to spend today. I'm Ghanaian. Of course, I'll buy eggs when I go grocery shopping. Quick intro, hi, I'm Danielle, content creator based in Knotts. I recently moved to the UK with the love of my life. I'm currently pursuing my master's degree at NTU. And if you're on this channel, expect to see fashion content, lifestyle, vlogs, content creation tips, and a little bit of everything in between. So subscribe. You're welcome to join the family. Kindly like and subscribe for more content like this. Today, we are going grocery shopping. I wanted to take you guys along with me. Let's find out how much we are going to spend today on groceries mind you we have a couple of stuff already so let's do this i'm wearing this white box tee very cozy casual errands and this car from sheen to go with the logo on here i think it's really cute never forget your shopping bags okay? so i packed one i bought these ones from ghana these tote bags i bought from ghana but these two but these from Sainsbury and these are what I always shop on. And I'm not going to go in alone, obviously. Someone is going to go in with me. So I'm not going to be vlogging with my camera today because I'm going to be doing a lot of moving around and I haven't got like a stabilizer, a gimbal, that kind of thing yet. But I'm going to be vlogging in my phone because it also gets the work done. Okay, so let's get into it.
We usually get our water here, but it seems they don't have water to drink. Should we check them here? Seems like we have found where it is.
one thing we try to do is to shop in bulk so that when we need some things that run out early like onions tomatoes those things we can come and get them um, by weekly that kind of thing because they have expiry dates so you can't keep them for so long like how you would if you went to me back home you need to finish them at the dates that are placed on it so we try to go through them get what we need so that we don't spend too much on things that would go bad later
one thing we make sure doesn't happen in this house is to not let our eggs finish because we already have eggs so this is just one egg okay but then there are like two full crates of eggs in there and we bought extra as well because how can you be Ghanaian and not love egg egg is life in fact egg of life this is what i snack on in the evenings yogurt and then fruits nobody should say anything it's good it's healthy and that is all that matters this is my favorite flavor from Berkeley, and these two together is a match made in heaven one thing about this country when they say something is going to expire on a certain date it's going to expire on that date so you have to make sure you finish it it doesn't matter the food you are putting it inside it will still expire so you have to take expiry date seriously you have to finish this chicken before it goes bad this is the receipt too, guys this is the receipt now <laughs> This is even like low because we already have some things. This is not like shopping from scratch. And this is from the global market place that we went to, the African shop. We decided to shop less from there and then shop more things that we can get in Aldi. So that reduces like the amount of money that we are supposed to spend in African shops. But all of this is what we are getting at £30 and what do you guys think so this? that is literally how much we spend on grocery shopping and things would have been much higher but wait editing daniel is coming i have the receipts so let me show you the receipts so that you know i'm not lying it's editing daniel here and i just came to let you know that you can't play with me because mm -mm, mm -mm. one thing about me i'm going to pull up the receipts been keeping a lot of receipts from when we've been grocery shopping and this way i can let you guys know averagely how much we are spending it can go as high as 100 pounds based on how we are shopping let's dive into the receipts yes it is true that sometimes it goes higher than that we have as high as 60 pounds and we bought a lot of stuff but then sometimes it's like 30 sometimes it's like 20 sometimes it's 50 so imagine if we are not shopping from scratch as in we have nothing then that means it would go past 50 pounds we spent close to 50 pounds at an african shop when we came here at first and didn't know where to get stuff imagine how much this would have gotten us at aldi Something, okay let me tell you something see in this uk you have to use your brain you have to use your brain because if you come here and you are always doing african shop african shop african shop african shop i am Ghanaian. i'm african i'm Ghanaian. i have to eat african shop i have to do this you're gonna be broke yes you're gonna be broke because how is it that you're spending 41 pounds and you only bought one two three four five six seven eight eight items 41 pounds ah, a day. The whole one. this could have gotten us so much at all the bro you need to do a mix of both here and here if not you're gonna be in trouble take it from me learn from me you're welcome so that is usually how much we spend on grocery shopping and things would have been much higher but we've already had a lot of stuff that we have not done yet so we had to buy just what we needed plus we're on a budget so we do not buy things that we don't need we only buy things that we need for a week or for a couple of weeks let me know 